Hi, crafty friends. Thanks so much for joining me. I have a scrapbook layout to share with you today, and I am using this sketch. It's from Stick It Down. They have a Facebook group, so I will leave that link down below in the description box. This is their August sketch. So I am going to tell you I use this sketch for inspiration, but then I kind of go off and do my own thing, but it was the driving inspiration for today's layout. All right, so let's get started on the process. I'm bringing in this 12 by 12 stencil and some Cloud Whip. Now, if you've never used Cloud Whip, it's like a texture paste, but you do need to add some kind of wet um, to make it easily go through your stencil. So I sprayed a little bit of water into the tub and then I decide to place a little bit of the paste onto my mat and the reason I am placing it onto my mat is because I want to add more water to it. And then I also want to bring in some of my shimmers paints so that I can color it. So I'm going to be bringing in one of my shimmers paints. And the color that I want to use is from their August 2024 color kits. It's called Tangy Tangerines Colorings. So I turn the bottle upside down to mix it up. Now, a colorings is a highly pigmented spray without shimmer. So I'm just going to put a few sprays here into the paste or into the cloud whip. And then I'm going to give it a good mix and see if I like the color. I'm going to bring in a little bit of water just so that it mixes a little bit easier, a little more spray until I get it the desired consistency that I'd like and also the desired color. So I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm gonna place it through this 12 by 12 stencil. I really like this stencil. This is from TCW and it's called 12 by 12 hole punch. <laughs> so yeah, that's the name of it. And I guess it's because it has all these holes, but I thought this would make an interesting background. Okay, so I think I have this pretty well mixed up to the desired consistency that I want. And now I'm just gonna place this on, on my stencil. Now off camera, I did use some pixie spray to spray the back of my stencil. And what that does, it's, it's like a temporary adhesive. And that way you don't have to use any tape. It just holds your stencil to your paper. And since the stencil is a little bit larger than my sheet of paper, I believe I have an 11 by 11 sheet of paper here, um, it allows it to also stick to my mat. So I love pick using pixie paste anytime I use stencils just to hold it down and I know it's not going to go anywhere. All right, so I'm using my large spatula here, my scraper, and I'm just being sure to get the paint mixture so the tangy tangerine mixed with the cloud whip all through these holes in the stencil and check that out that is looking amazing um, this is fun this is my first time using this stencil and i just couldn't wait to use it um, i thought it was so fun so i have a lot of ideas of how else i want to use this you could just use ink if you wanted but i thought the texture paste would give an interesting background Okay, so I'm just making sure that I get each of the holes covered with the paste. And then I will take everything over to my sink and clean the stencil and the palette knife and everything right away so that I don't have a disaster. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna set this aside to dry and I will be back. Okay, peel and reveal, here we go. Oh, isn't that awesome? I just love it. Now, while that's drying, I did bring in this cut file and this is from Pear Tree Cut Files. It's from my July Pearscription. I'm still working my way through all of the pre-cut cut files that were sent to me. And um, I wanna back this with some of this paper from the August 2024 color kits from Shimmers Paints. And then I did use some ink as well. So I started off with the mustard seed and I didn't really like that. So then I used the picked raspberry over top with this little 
thin um, brush here. And I kind of like the look that it gave. It gave like an ombre look. Now off camera, I did go ahead and spray more of the Tangy Tangerines coloring onto my dried background. And then I also sprayed some Love Ocean Number no. 9 Vibes so that I have this two-toned color. Now a Vibes is a shimmer spray. Now here's where I'm going to get back to making the layout according to the sketch. And so there's like these um, triangular shapes on the sketch. And so I cut some of the pattern paper from the uh, August color kits from Shimmer Paints. And I used the pineapple paper to cut these and I used a die, a waffle flower die here to cut these. So I'm just gonna arrange these kind of going down the page and then I'm gonna use some wet glue and I'm gonna get these adhered down. So I have those stuck down and I did distress the edges with my edge distressor. My page is 11 by 11. I'm gonna apply some glue. Oh, I think I broke this tape runner. So I was gonna apply some uh, tape runner and glue, but it looks like I broke my tape runner. Got a little aggressive there. <laughs> so I'm just gonna apply some tacky glue and give this a good press. And that sheet is 11 and a half by 11 and a half. And then I'm gonna apply both of these to a white sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock. So I have a double mat on my page. And I think that's gonna look good. So I'll give this a good press. I think I got it a little crooked, so I'm just gonna adjust this. And this is a wild background, a little bit more wild than my usual style. So I'm bringing in my title and I don't think that you can see it very well. So I decided that I wanted to bring in a piece of vellum. And so I've torn this vellum and I think that allows the title piece to be seen on the page, but still let my gorgeous background shine through. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue just on the back of this cut file and I'm going to glue this down um, to the vellum and then I will be able to put glue on the vellum right where my cut file is because I don't have anywhere right now to glue my vellum down where the glue wouldn't show through. So I've got to put this cut file on first. So I'll go ahead and get this pushed down. I'm just going to use my glass mat to kind of press on that, give it some pressure. And then let me add some glue now, kind of to the same places that I added glue to the vellum piece. And now I'm putting it directly on the back of the vellum and we'll stick this down on the title or on the on my layout. Now I did cut the vellum down just a little bit shorter um, on the top and bottom because I wanted more of that background page to show through. So it says, adventures end, but the memories will last forever. And I like that, that looks good. Set my um, glass mat back on there. Okay, so this little piece, this is from the August Color Kits from Shimmer's Paints. And I went ahead and fussy cut this piece out, these palm trees, and this is from their color sheet. So they have these really cool color sheets that come in the color kits. And so I'm now mixing up this color. I already colored the leaves and the jilted jade that came in the kit. And then I'm bringing in inklings from my stash and this is called chocolate and diamonds to cut to color in the tree trunks. Now in inklings, it's a solid watercolor and you just spray it with a little water and let it sit for a minute and then those colors come alive. And this has high sheen and shimmer. So both of these will have shimmer. And then I went ahead and applied that. I cut a circle um, out of another piece of the pattern paper and I sprayed a little bit of that ocean, Love Ocean Number no. 9 vibes. And I wanna stick this behind the word Adventures End, but I already put glue back there. And so I'm like, what am I gonna do? This was my plan. Um, and so I'm gonna bring in some tweezers and see if I can peel this title up ever so gently so that I can stick this uh, circle piece in here with the palm trees. I really wanted the palm trees in here. So the pictures I'm gonna be scrapbooking today, which I haven't even brought those in yet, they are from when my daughter and I went on a, a cruise and our first stop was in Key West. 
And so I have two photos that I want to scrapbook today. And they were from our time in Key West. And my daughter absolutely loved Key West. Um, and so I'll bring those in in just a moment. Let me get this glued down. So here's our photos. And that's me and that's my daughter Tatum. And we had these amazing pineapple drinks. Uh, I think they cost a small fortune. <laughs> but she wanted one. And what can I say? I mean, these drinks look so cool. We were on this little like trolley ride and we saw people walking down the road um, carrying these. And so we had to get off of the trolley and go to this shop that made these pineapple drinks. So we gulped them down. They were amazing. And I thought these were really cool to document with these like tropical papers. And so I'm going to document these two pictures here. I do not have, this was on our cruise to the Bahamas. I don't have all of our Bahamas pictures um, scrapbooked yet. And so I'm excited to finally get these on a layout. We went in, I think it was 2020. Um, it might have been 2022. I've got to look up the date. So I'm not going to write the date on my page yet. Um, here's some more of those coloring sheets or some little pieces, these little pineapples were from the coloring sheet. And so I will get those colored off camera, but I went ahead and fussy cut them. And then I also have a couple of flowers here that were from the ephemera. And so I wanna place a couple of flowers with the pineapples just to kind of have a couple clusters here. All right, so I'm also bringing in the bonus bundle from Shimmers Paints. This is their August bonus bundle. And you get a paint and then these sequins. So the paint is the purple peony creamies. And then look at these gorgeous sequins. So there's so many pretty colors in here. And I want to pick out a few of them. I'm going to set a few to the side. And then there's also some little flamingos in here. And there's some with flowers. And so be sure to check out the close-ups once the video is over. Um, I won't put all of these, I won't glue all of these sequins down on camera. Um, but here we go. You can see I added some of the sequins here and the flamingo in all of my clusters. So the glue's not quite dry yet, but that will dry clear once it's done. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe and come back. And I will have links to all the products I used today down in the description box, as well as a link to the Facebook group uh, stick it down. And like I said, that was my inspiration for today's layout. And I've been having fun um, playing along with their monthly sketches. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.